Hello my lovely Sophia here, Psychic Tarot Reader, Personal Mentor and welcome to my channel Sophia Psychic Tarot. So today's pick a card reading is one I have done before, okay, but um, it is Will I See Them Again? So we've got orange is pile one, purple is pile two, blue is pile three. The timestamps are in the description box below underneath the video. Please choose your colour. So for those of you who chose part number one, let's see if you will see your person again. So dear spirit guides and angels, what message do you have for my lovely viewers who chose part number one? Will they see their person again? Will they see their person again? Now of course you can get your own personal reading. Please see the description box below. Many of you do. And I've had some lovely feedback as well. So thank you. So for this group, your person might be in a situation that they are already committed to. Okay, we've got the Hierophant, which for me is either shows me that there is a commitment of some kind, whatever. Okay, whether it's relationship, family, religious factors okay there or work there's something that they are possibly already committed to here um it can be things like just um financial things um legal things okay um houses renting okay um and this may be something that you are not particularly happy with anymore okay you're wanting communication but your person is committed to other things and you're like well I want you to be committed to me I don't want you to be committed to other things um, you may also be checking things on social media or finding things out that you don't particularly like you might feel that you're having to admit defeat because you know my person's with somebody else or otherwise committed to something else and you're feeling frustrated and you don't like it basically is what I'm hearing from spirit again especially if there are legalities between them and somebody else and contracts like like I say rental agreements marriages um religious factors that you just want communication you just want to see this person but there are other factors in the way. This isn't going to be for all of you, okay? Um, not everybody that people are waiting for is in a situation where there are commitments, but for this group, I am seeing that. So Spirit is saying here, don't give up. It's like I always say, you know, events that happen in our lives have no actual meaning. An event itself holds no emotion. It has no meaning. It's, it's what we put into it. Okay, like I've said before, you and I could go and see, say, Elton John at a concert. You could have a brilliant time. I could have a shitty time. It's still Elton John doing the same performance for you and for me. It's how you experience things and how you put your emotions into it and your thoughts into it. Um, so spirit is trying to say to you, yes, it is a battle. You desperately want this person. You desperately want to be seeing them again. You may not be desperate to see them again. Some of you just might be curious. Okay. But for those of you who really do want to see your person again, then yes, this is a battle, but the scales have to be more balanced. And by that, they're saying you have to balance your emotions and thoughts in this because how you're reacting to this is going to be the what you keep seeing in your reality okay so what do I mean by that if you're going to keep thinking like oh they're they're never going to leave this person you know I'm never going to see them again um I'm just going to keep looking at tarot readings to see if I'm ever going to see them again you're they're negative okay if you change it to yeah you know of course I see them I see them all the time we're happily married, we're, um, you know, we communicate all the time, I'm so spoiled by this person, you know, change the story you're telling yourself and you will become more balanced and in more harmony with yourself, spirit is saying. 
Will my viewers who chose pile one see their person again? For some of you, there is still quite a bit of healing to do as well. You know, having that self-love, self-respect and self-worth for yourself. Um, and also releasing the anger and the pain. And again, you know, sort of, you're only keeping yourself in your mental prison with your self-limiting thoughts. You know, all things are possible in this world. And like I say a lot on my channel, um, you know, everything you see around you started off in somebody's imagination. Use your imagination to create the story of what you want in your life, not what you think you can only have in your life or what you are believing to be true in your life. Change your limiting thoughts that are trapping you in this mental prison. Whether you're playing the victim, whether you're not seeing things for how they truly are. You know, and by that I mean, you know, if you want to see this person again, change the way you are viewing this. Liberate yourself from your mental self-limiting assumptions and beliefs. I can't have this person there with somebody else. They went off with somebody else, they hurt me. Change the story you're telling yourself to a positive. And again, justice, justice under justice. So spirit is saying, it doesn't matter what circumstances are, where they are, what they're doing, who they're with. It is how you are perceiving this with your negative thoughts and limiting beliefs and self-doubt. If you can change this, then there will be a favourable outcome. You will start to have them back in your life. So really think about what you want and you will get what you want, they're saying. You can have that abundance. But if you remain blindfolded, then it's going to continue to be a stalemate situation. Check out my channel. Check out the Get Them Back playlist. So what other message do you have for the viewers who chose pile number one, please? Will they see their person again? I teach this all the time in my personal mentoring and I've seen it work thousands and thousands of times, okay? Again, the five of swords, all you're doing is letting other people, your outside world, dictate your inner world, trapping you in what you're seeing in your 3D reality. People controlling your world. No, you have to get out of that and you control your world. Not let the 3D world control you. As Archangel Michael always says, do you want to live the life you prefer to be living, that you want to be living? Or do you just want to live a life? And by that he means, do you want the outside world, what you're seeing, to live your life for you? Or do you want to say no? I'm getting rid of all these swords. I'm brushing all this negativity away from my life. You know, I don't want to pin myself in this negative state and feel like this anymore. I want new opportunities. I don't want to feel stressed. I want victory. And I want my person to love me. Okay, I want to fight this battle and I don't want to sit here doing my own head in with my limiting thoughts and beliefs and emotions. Okay, so Spirit is saying, have a good think about what it is that you want in your life and you can have it. Not quite how I expected this to go out, but come out. But <laughs> so there you go. Spirit will tell us what we want, what they want us to hear, to change our lives and our limiting beliefs and thoughts. So will the people who chose pile number one see their person again? Will they see them again? Yes, you can do. If you want them to come back into your life, propose to you, offer you things, change the way you're thinking, they're saying. But only you can do that. 
it is not up to your person it is up to you to change the story you are telling yourself so relax have fun they're saying have fun with this as well wouldn't you rather be telling yourself a story that you want to hear a good feeling story about how you're happy with your person instead of just telling yourself a scary nightmare a horror story leave your limiting beliefs behind they're telling me on this one and then your person will come towards you So Romance Angels, what message do you have for the viewers who chose part number one, please? Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, so again, if you can come out of this limiting beliefs, that your person will come towards you. And it's not going to be instant. Okay, it, it does take time to change your limiting beliefs and negative thoughts especially when your emotions are ruling your thoughts because you feel that your heart is breaking you miss this person okay but it can be changed round check the get them back playlist out for some of you you don't need to do this okay we all need to do things to get what we want in this life but for others of you, yes, there will be heart-to-heart -heart conversations, regardless, he's telling me. But keep an open mind. Don't think about the how and the when. Just know that you and your person are together and it will work out. Okay? You may have known them in a past life, but this is for me also that, you know, you and your person from this past relationship that you've had in this life okay we'll come back together here but it's going to take effort archangel michael what message do you have for the viewer who chose part number one please will they see their person again the person you're asking about is trustworthy So what he's saying is, if you want this person, change the way you're thinking about them. Remember, when you live in a state of lack, if you're constantly looking at your phone and seeing no messages from them, no phone calls from them, okay, they haven't come to your door, you're living in a state of lack. Therefore, you will keep seeing that in your reality, that they are, are not there. So change the conversations you're having with yourself as if you are with them. Even if you say something simple like, why am I so happily married to my person? You know, put their name in there. Why am I so happily married to Bob? It's amazing. Bob spoils me. Bob loves me. Change the story you have. Bob is always texting me and ringing me. We're constantly chatting. Okay, change st your story. Have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Follow your guidance, your intuition, and manifest this. Remain positive. Turn your negatives into a positive, my lovelies. Again, check out the Get Them Back playlist. If you want to know the advice that Spirit gives you for your own personal situation, how to get through this until they come back, purchase a reading, okay? Believe in the impossible. Okay, this says winter. The answers to your prayers and affirmations are fully realised in the winter months. For some of you, um, Australia, New Zealand, you are coming into your winter months. 
UK, we're coming into our summer months, spring, summer still. Okay, but if you want to believe in a unicorn, believe in that. It's like I said earlier, if you want to believe in something, believe in it. It will happen. So believe in the impossible. What message do you have for my viewers who chose part number one? All things are possible. The chances of you actually becoming a unicorn are not possible. But if you want to believe that you're a millionaire, if you want to believe that you have a Ferrari, if you want to believe that you are liked and loved by everybody, you know, change the way you're thinking about things. Say positive affirmations and have faith. A new romantic cycle begins. Okay, a new romantic cycle begins. Now, this is new moon in Libra. So for some of you, going back to the original question, will I see them again? You might see them between now and the month of, um, and between October the 16th or October, between now and October. Depends when you're viewing this, okay? What other message do you have for the viewer who chose car number one regarding will they see that person again? Remain in your divine power. Use your head. Think, use your imagination. She's pointing to her head. Use your imagination. Because like I say, everything you see around you was first created in somebody's imagination. Somebody had that thought and then they created it. Whether it is a style of car, a design of car, your house, your mobile phone, your computer. Whatever you see around you was created in somebody's imagination. It didn't just appear. So create the life you want to be living. Remember the world card. What is it you want? Create that life. If you want this person to be with you, create that reality. You're not changing your current 3D reality. Just look at your current 3D reality with them not in it and say, oh, well, this is just a passing. This, you know, turn the page. Um, I don't like this page. I'm turning the page. I don't like this film I'm watching. I'll change channel. Change to a reality you want to be in, okay? Okay. And you will get your person back. However long it takes, you will get your person back. Remember, you don't focus on the how and the when. That's why you keep an open mind. I will leave this reading with you. Love and light. For those of you who chose the purple, power number two, let's see if, you're, if you sorry, will see your person again. Number, number one didn't go at all how I thought it would go, but like I say, Spirit brings through messages that they want us to hear, not what we want to hear. <laughs> okay, so um, you can, of course, get your own personal reading as well. So will the viewer who chose part number two see their person again? Okay, so they want me to take that one as well. We have major changes here. Major changes are coming. And we've got rapid movement, fast movement here. And we've got the devil and we've got the six of cups. So they're giving me two messages with this. There are major changes. The end of the old, beginning of the new. Things are going to move pretty quick on this. But it may be annoyances that you feel annoyed with something that's coming in to do with this person from the past. It could just be saying that you are in a negative low vibration about the past, but events are changing. So this can go two ways. There are changes coming in but they may cause annoyances for some of you. Or it is just that, you know, things are happening. Just come out of your negative 
low vibration on how you're viewing this person or thinking about this person because there are going to be changes okay let's see how this develops again spirit is saying me to me a bit like par number one you know if an event comes in and you let it affect you in a negative way instead of a positive way then that will change how you're viewing something so if you and i both went to a concert to watch elton john perform elton john is performing the same throughout the concert for everybody there you might have a brilliant time i might have a shitty time it's not elton john's fault he's not doing anything wrong he's not done anything special for me that he didn't do for somebody else okay he is doing what he's doing it's how you react to it so if something comes in regarding your person from the past and you feel annoyed by it you feel frustrated by it then that is how you are gonna that is the experience you're gonna get from it okay sorry um if you think of it as a positive wow, you know, my person's doing this or they've done that or they've reached out to me. It's a different experience, okay? It's a bit hard to explain sometimes, but uh, let's see what else comes out. So what other message do you have for the viewers who chose part number two? Will they see their person again? Okay, so this person may have caused you great heartache and pain. Literally stabbed you in the heart. But there is still a connection there between you with the Two of Cups. And my Two of Cups is not just how I see the Two of Cups. It's not just you holding on to them and them not having any feelings for you. There is still a connection there, okay? Your person is still the person you want to be with. So what they're telling me here, for some of you, your person may have to leave another situation to come to you. Causing heartache or whatever to the person that they're walking away from or situation, family or whatever to be with you here. For others of you, your person, although they caused you heartache, the love is still there and they are coming forward for you. Okay, they're being there for you. you. You will meet this person again, I'm hearing. Okay, definitely you will meet this person again. But it depends on this negative way you might be looking at it. So turn your feelings into positives. At the moment, when you're looking at your phone or you're looking out the window, okay, or you're checking your emails, your social media, and you're not seeing them come forward, don't keep noticing the lack of them in your life. Change it to positives. I don't know how. I'm happily married to my person. But it's amazing. We are just so happily married to each other. Um... I have the most amazing marriage. I have the most amazing person. They spoil me all the time. They love me 100%. Totally committed, truly madly, deeply in love with me, totally devoted to me. I'm truly grateful and appreciative for this person being in my life. We communicate all the time. My person loves talking to me. We talk all the time thinks about me all the time change any negative thought into a positive for the viewers who chose part number two will they see that person again communication communication they will reach out to you i'm hearing i don't know when but it's soon. 
but again the devil okay again don't limit your beliefs and the way you're looking at this no they hurt me they're going to come back and they're going to hurt me again they're still with a karmic if they get in touch they've got to have left the karmic because they'll go back to them change it into what you want to see in your life as far as you're concerned your person only wants to be with you don't tie yourself to negative beliefs and thoughts and limiting beliefs. All things are possible. For some of you, there has to be a tower moment that occurs. Before they can be with you, I'm hearing. Now, whether that is a realisation of how you have been viewing this and you change that and you have this sort of tower moment, okay? It may be that they, like I say, have to have this tower moment with whatever situation they are in to come forward to you. But with this tower card, there is this beautiful orb in the middle. And that, for me, says that, you know, this can be rebuilt, on a firmer foundation but don't go back to your limiting beliefs and your negatives or treat the relationship exactly the same as you did when you were in it before because it will fall down again you have to if you want this to last change the way you're viewing it think only positive things about it and change things going forward don't go back into the old way the old you and them because it broke down the first time for a reason and it will break down again so change it to how you want it to be do you want to sit there watching a horror movie on the telly that is frightening the shit out of you or do you want to watch a nice romantic comedy or romantic film change the channel you don't have to sit there watching and watching a scary movie if you if it's upsetting you. Watch something, change the channel. If you're too lazy to change the channel, then just keep watching the scary movie that you're not enjoying. Okay, so change the way you're looking at your life. Do you want to just sit there looking bored, waiting, waiting. Where are they then? Where are they then? When are they coming to me? When are they doing this? Okay, don't let the outside world influence what you want in your reality. What other message do you have for the viewers who chose part number two, please? Will they see their person again? Yeah, the two of cups again. This is for me like the two of cups. So we've got the two of cups. There's still a bond between you. But... Get out of this low vibration, limiting beliefs and assumptions about this. Change the channel. Because your person is thinking about you as well, but also change the way you're thinking of this, they're saying to me. Stop the chaotic thoughts that are running around your head, the gremlins, the devils. Okay, change the way you're viewing this. Romance Angels, what message do you have for the viewers who chose par number two, please? Will they see their person again? Keep an open mind, yes. Just don't try and control the how and the when. Just change, control the way you're thinking about them into the story you want to be living in. What you want to be seeing in your reality, not what you don't want to be seeing in your reality, which is the lack of them. Okay, there's still some healing to do. They may have to heal something in the situation they are in with family issues okay but also for you some still healing to do to get out of this devil energy and give your relationship a chance work on your partnership here so give it a chance in your mind as, and your feelings as well 
as for, as well as when they come back, okay? As well as when they come back. Archangel Michael, what message do you have for the viewers who chose part number two? Guarded and protected. You are guarded and protected. What message do you have for the viewers who chose part number two? Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt. And remember that you are God's perfect child. Okay, let go of the old negative beliefs that you're having about this. Even if it's thoughts of they broke my heart, they're going to do it again. If I see them again, how are they going to treat me? You know, self-forgiveness. Have your self-love and self-worth for yourself. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. You've finished one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. Like the death card, you can change this, okay? But also there are changes coming in for this. And a new romantic cycle begins. Now, new moon in Libra, <laughs> funny enough, this came out for part number one as well. The actual new moon in Libra is October the 16th. However, Libra does start the end of September through October. Okay, so it may be then that you see your person again. Between now and then, it, or it could be around October time, end of September, October. So what final messages do you have for the viewer who chose part number two? This is fated, okay? This relationship is fated. So I do feel that you will see this person again, but also in the meantime, change the way you're viewing this because changes will have to be made even when you get back together. Okay, it cannot go, go back to the old way of you being together. It would have to be a new way of you being together. Okay, my lovelies, I will leave this with you, love and light. For my lovely viewers who chose part number three, let's see if you will see your person again. So dear spirit guides and angels, will the viewers who chose part number three see their person again? Okay, so your person may have a family commitment. Then whether they are with another person or just, you know, parents here. Also, you might be wanting this family with them. But I feel it is more a situation that they are in. You might be with a family. You you might have be living with somebody and you're just wondering about somebody that you have strong feelings for, okay, I'm wondering if you'll see them again. But there's a family situation here, so take it as it resonates. Um, and there are, is a decision. Whether it's them making a decision or you making a decision here. These three cards are telling me that this is some fated, okay? Something is changing within this to do with the past and there's news coming. So I do feel that you will... You will either reach out to your person if you are not blocked, okay, and you know where they are and you've been thinking about them, or they will reach out to you, but I'm not seeing when at the moment. So will the viewers who chose part number three see their person again? Will the viewers who chose part number three see their person again? Yeah, this offer of reaching out with love here. So again, you reaching out to them, if it's possible, or them reaching out to you.
It may be after a long time apart. You may not have seen this person for a long time. It may be that a lot of thinking, you've done a lot of thinking or they've done a lot of thinking about this. But again, the King of Cups. So definitely love or a connection still between you. Okay. And I heard ring. So I feel that your person will ring you and you will meet them again, see them again, or you will ring them. The tower. Okay, let me just put some more down. Now, the Tower and the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups up here with a family situation. Now, again, there may be, they may be in a family situation that has to fall apart first for them to come forward to you. It may be that you are in a family situation that has to fall apart first before you reach out to your person. But again, the page of cups I'm getting as reaching out, okay, offering you this love here. You may have to be patient if you are waiting for them and go with the flow, divine timing, okay. So let's see what um, we have here. What messages do you have for the viewers who chose part number three, please? Will they see their person again? There's certainly a sense of disillusionment somewhere. Either you are disillusioned by a situation you are in, family, you know, or a relationship, and you reach out to them, or vice versa. This is definitely hasn't changed from two ways here. <laughs> okay, this is definitely for those of you who are cannot reach out to them, they will be reaching out to you. If you can reach out to them because you were the one who blocked them or whatever, and you are now thinking would they want to see me again reach out to them okay test the waters here believe in the impossible yeah um again becoming disillusioned by people negative people around or people who are manipulative argumentative people who have been stopping you being together there are changes i'm hearing breaking free of this situation yeah <laughs> major changes breaking free of this situation okay just backing that up there especially you know cutting things out of either your life or their life that is no longer serving them to in order to come back into union because this is fated that you are meant to be with this person obviously please get your own reading what message do you have, Romance Angels, for the viewers who chose par number three? Will they see their person again? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So, again, it could be them releasing the past, you know, their situation they're in to release that. The past is two minutes ago, a minute ago, a second ago. Okay, it doesn't have to be you as the past. You could be releasing something that has been stopping you from being with them. But also, don't go into, if they get in touch or you get in touch with them, release and heal the past. Don't take the same shit forward with you again. It fell apart, apart before and it will fall apart again if you do not make the changes that are needed. Past life relationship. Now, you may feel so strongly about this person because you've had a past life relationship, but also because you've known each other in this lifetime in the past. The passion is still there between you. And the attraction is still there between you as well. And again, the passion is still there between you. 
Okay, Archangel Michael, what message do you have, please, for the viewers who chose pile number three? Will they see their person again? Eternal love, yeah. Whether this is carried on from the past life, and this is eternal love, or the fact that you met this person and you are fated to be together. This love has never gone away. Empowerment. You're more powerful than you realise. It's safe for you to be powerful. So change the way you're viewing this. At the moment, while they're not here in your life, change the way you're looking at this. As I've said in the other two piles, if you are sat watching a horror movie or a distressing programme and it's making you feel sad or miserable or you're scared, pick up the remote and change the channel to something that is, makes you laugh or that you're enjoying watching a romantic film or a comedy. If you're too lazy to change the channel and you just want to sit there shit scared, upset or whatever or angry, then that's your choice. So change your negative thoughts into positive thoughts. Instead of, when will I see them? Why aren't I seeing them? Then they never contact me. They're just taking it forever. I really want to be with this person. Change it into, I don't know how. I'm with my person, happily married to my person. But God, it's amazing. We are just so happy. He spoils me so much. She spoils me so much. They truly love me. Okay, just, there's a whole bunch of things you can say to yourself to change your sad story into a positive story as if you are already together if you're noticing lack you'll you'll still have lack if you're being positive and having positive thoughts you will start to see positive things so you're more powerful than you realize like i've said a zillion times before in my other videos and on my lives everything you see around you was created in somebody's imagination so imagine what you want to be seeing in your life and not focusing on the shit that you are seeing in your life. Change the channel. Your desire is within reach. Have faith as everything is working in your favour. And know that you are good enough. Know that you are good enough. Now I've got Virgo here. So you may be dealing with a Virgo. But Virgo, it may be between now and September that you, you know, that this happens. It may be in September that it happens. Okay, the answers you need are coming. The answers you need are coming. So, dear spirit guides and angels, what final message do you have for the viewers who chose pile number three? Will they see their person again? You've been waiting. You still might have to wait. Remember, it is in divine timing here. So, in the time that you are waiting... If you can't do anything about this and you, you know, you do have to rely on them coming back into your life, be positive, be like the magician. He creates his reality. He creates the things he wants to see in his life. He magics them up. Okay, so be positive and you will see things being creative and beneficial in your life. But yes, I do feel that you will see this person again. I'll leave this with you. Love and light.